After years of hard work, the Taramak clan of the Rukai tribe in Taidong's Bainan Township is generating its own homemade solar power. A simple opening ceremony was held on Sunday in this remote township where they built the simple construction from the ground up. They've now become a model community for others to emulate and hope that income from the feed-in tariff will go toward developing their community. Instead of cutting a ribbon, the tribal people here cut a branch to symbolise the opening of the Taramak solar power facility. It is high noon and also high time to generate solar power. Scanning the landscape, one notices the solar panels erected on rooftops, as well as on the ground. Plug your phone into the module and yes, it starts charging. A green energy company has been set up here with a vision of becoming part of a model community that can demonstrate to others how to harness solar power for economic benefit. People in our tribe started from applications to the local authorities, to construction, to setting up the modules, to power generation, to sales. We had to learn everything ourselves. They hope that the revenue from power storage and sales will not only benefit the community, but also attract investments from outside the village so that their living standards will improve. For two years, the township office ceaselessly canvassed the region for spots suited to the construction of solar modules and, at the same time, taught the tribal people how to install the panels and assisted them to acquire the necessary certification. At last, the tribe completed the connection to Tai Power's power grid this year. If the government had never provided any incentives, then it would not have been advantageous to do this. The setup cost is high because everything had to be shipped in from either northern or western Taiwan. Secondly, you've got the high cost of maintenance. And thirdly, the power generation is less than that of western Taiwan by about 30 percent on average. So Thai power will have to pay a higher feed-in tariff for the energy produced in indigenous tribes and distant settlements. The tribe is asking the government to help with the development of distant indigenous villages. Despite being in a remote region that lacks resources, the tribe overcame obstacles to establish itself as a green energy demonstration zone. They hope that the government will increase the feed-in tariff and make their cottage industry self-sufficient, which will drive tribal development and improve the living conditions of the local residents.